There have been more fights at Waffle Houses than the entire history of the Roman Colosseum. It's a place where people go mainly just to throw down, it seems, and then maybe get like a waffle to celebrate either a victory or rub it in their wounds after a tough loss. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the prerequisites for being a waitress or waiter at a Waffle House is a black belt in Muay Thai. The food really is secondary to the true Waffle House experience of being able to be either a spectator in a brawl or a participant. Waffle House is a lot like my asshole. You just never know when shit's gonna pop off. And it feels like it's always just a matter of time before a fight breaks out. It's got this big reputation now as the go-to Thunderdome for giving or receiving ass whoopings. It's like almost a curse that haunts Waffle House where you go in there in a good mood, but the second you cross that threshold, it's like that scene out of Kingsman at the church where everyone just like flips on this switch and they're just fighting each other. I don't know what exactly it is about Waffle Houses that bring out the demon, but yes, it is well known now how often fights happen there. And recently there was a massive one that made headlines everywhere, and I didn't even cover it on my channel. I've covered a lot of Waffle House fights, but this one a lot of people noticed I was uncharacteristically silent on, thinking that I was like a Waffle House hipster where this fight was too mainstream for me to talk about, but nothing could be further from the truth. I was as entertained as everyone else was. I'm sure all of you have seen the big brawl by now. I can't show you any clips because with the YouTube's new policy, I would get fucked in the mouth so quick for doing that. So I already know you've seen the brawl. But the thing is, I enjoyed it. I just didn't have a whole lot to say about it. It was mainly grappling. There was like not a whole lot of like squaring up and delivering knuckle sandwiches. It was pretty much grappling until the end where it finished with a WWE style chair throw which led to a now historic internet moment. This iconic parry. That was a frame-perfect parry like something out of Dark Souls. She got iframes out of that right there. That is an absolute game ender. She threw that chair with velocity too. That was a cannon. And she not only deflected it, but she like fucking spun it around her forearm here and then threw it to the ground. It was so flashy. Fucking anime couldn't have been smoother than that. It was nutty and it took the internet by storm. There's tons of edits around this now with like John Cena being the one throwing the chair. It went super viral. However, this actually had a wildly detrimental impact to that lady's career. She got fired for this, which I think is just wrong. She didn't start the fight. It's a fucking Waffle House. A fight is inevitable. It's like trying to stop the wind from blowing. She was powerless, so what did she do? Defend herself, which I think is totally within her right to do. She shouldn't lose employment because she deflected a chair. Now, I do realize that leading up to this, she was actively engaged in this brawl. But even still, I, I don't blame her. The brawl broke out and she was defending herself as well as her fellow employees. It, it, it's something I don't think she should have lost her job over, but it goes even deeper than that. Not only did she lose her job, it seems she's been banned from ever working at a Waffle House again. Which makes no sense. She should be like the head of security for Waffle House going forward. She should be training other employees on how to handle situations the way she did. I just imagine the wisdom she could share with everyone. By the end of her training, Waffle House employees will be able to slap bullets out of midair. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. She was punished for something I don't think she even did wrong. So, it's a big L from Waffle House. I'll go ahead and show you from uh, the articles where she posted a video going over it. Can't ever work for Waffle House again. I tried working for another one, um, like, sometime earlier this year. And I had found out that I was blacklisted. That's so fucked up! After a successful parry like that? Man, Waffle House is so dumb for that. She's She should honestly have been promoted. She could have been the face of their marketing campaign. Like, yeah, we know we have a reputation for fights breaking out, but now we have our own Batwoman. And then it's just like her parrying chairs or something. They could have really leaned into it. Fucking stupid L Waffle House, man. Jesus. I don't know how they couldn't see this easy slam dunk for PR. What was, she, what was she supposed to do? Just let it hit her in the face? 
I, I think I don't think she was blacklisted for parrying the chair. I think she got blacklisted because it might be company policy that when a fight breaks out and you're like participating, you get fired. I don't think it was necessarily this successful parry. I, I don't think it would matter if she got hit in the face with it or not. She threw the salt shaker. Oh, was she the one that threw the salt shaker? Okay, then that was probably it. Even still, though, not, th this whole brawl isn't her fault. If they fire everyone who gets in fights at Waffle House, how are they still finding so many employees? Yeah, good point. The turnover rate of employees at Waffle House has to be unreal. If you're getting fired for fights, like, you're going to be going through new employees once a week. It's so sad how such a triumphant moment with that chair parry could turn into something so devastating for her career. Because she's still out of a job, to my knowledge, which is shocking. I, I would have thought, like, some other corporation or something would have picked her up just even to capitalize off of her, like, the viral marketing capabilities she now has. But to my knowledge, that hasn't happened. So I feel really bad for her because, again, I feel like she was just defending herself from the, the chair being thrown at her as well as just, like, the general brawl. So I just wanted to share this because I think this is a big fuck up from Waffle House. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.